What's up, guys? Mikey. Recap for today. I had a great day. There was definitely a couple of misses out there, but I'm going to go over my uh, APLD trade. Uh, for one, I did trade this pre-market. I thought this was pumping a lot of volume. Turn this off. I thought this was pumping a lot of volume uh, pre-market off its news. I did wait for it to pull back. Um, I saw this particular try to swipe and then it it retested this and started to come further down. Now, the zone I traded this off of was a daily zone. It's nothing crazy. I did trade it off this daily zone right here. So when it started to pull back into here, this is when I actually took my stab. I joined uh, in particular because this was pumping 200K, 200K, uh, 300K, 358K, and then uh, 500,000 right there, right? So that's a lot of volume for a $4 stock. Um, this is uh, something that I liked in particular once we started to actually retest that zone and these offers were here were actually getting filled and not breaking back down, right? That's the reason why I even took this trade. I actually got almost a dollar per share on this run up. Uh, what was really nice too was they started to, um, they pulled a lot of the liquidity, right? They had 80,000 holding it down and then they lightened it up and we swiped right through that, okay? Uh, they did that actually a couple times right here where they had this offer here and they actually pulled it. We swiped it, pulled back to a previous area of interest right there and tried and we actually failed uh, five bucks for until open, right? Let me go over uh, my long trade on this one too. I like things that are pulling back. So I particularly waited for this same area right here on the book where this actually pulled back again and retested um, this previous area of interest down here. Okay, there was this is a nice liquidity area, and we weak opened right here and started to consolidate. There's a nice W pattern right here to go off of as well. Um, it's something that I like to play a lot. And then um, this bidder right here showed its showed its face at uh, 452. So that was great. I did catch some nice uh, scales out of this one. I did want to see it kind of continue over here. So I did actually soak this and then uh, take a lot of my profits into here. So again, that was a nice uh, other secondary trade for me on that one. Um, there was plenty of opportunities to play this again. Um, I did catch a nice scout move off this pullback right here to this previous uh, area where it failed, it tried again, it swiped it, it pulled back. I like these nice fast swipes down. And then to see the read and soak afterwards is uh, important, okay? So there was um, an, another opportunity again off five bucks right here. I thought this is this is an obvious level right here. Uh, another great scalp opportunity where this reclaimed up here. You know, I, I did scalp this. I, did re I reduced my size when I started playing later in the day. Um, after locking in and, and playing pretty aggressive uh, pre-market and then playing pretty aggressive, uh, more aggressive actually on this open player here, okay? So these were pretty much scalps, nothing too crazy for me on that one. Uh, Hoth, Hoth was awesome. <clears throat> All right. Hoth was awesome for a couple reasons. It's even trying to curl again. See what that one does. Likes to dilute, but it's okay. Uh, one of the main trades for me, I actually uh, missed the week open on Hoth and it halted up and then it halted down. But to me, this was the main read right here. Um, co coming down from the um, the unhalt, right? This unhalted. This became an obvious level. Super, super obvious on the book. I've been studying these unhalt levels and, and really trying to get good soak reads based off how the liquidity starts to trade. If you uh, see this type of book, right, this type of book is very similar to, again, this tight, tight, tight price action, algo trading, where, you know, they have uh, a one cent spread. It's very, very tight. Uh, in, in particular areas where things should break down and reclaim, then you start to see actually some bidders reset up right here. And you kind of see this bid follow up on on these smaller time frames, right? Watching this, okay. Uh, uh, key levels to swipe on this one was definitely this one. This was a nice pullback before we actually ripped. They did spoof bids on this one, which helped this uh, in particular start to squeeze and actually catch that halt up. 
that was a great trade for me. Um, I would have traded this uh, multiple times, you know. Um, another key aspect that, you know, I keep really utilizing this book for is to look left and kind of see where a lot of the liquidity is being traded at, right? So taking this off, going to Hoth. All right, a little, little push right there. Still above the 200s, okay? All right, real quick, just chart structure, right? You know, this whole consolidation right here, to me, is still very well in its structure, right? It's not like we're trading and we're underneath this and we have to, again, smash through all of this, right? So to me, when this started to consolidate and not break down, nice open print two one thirteens was really great, right? And then you got all those spoof bids that you saw in the book kind of help push this up right here and start to squeeze. Anybody who was maybe shorting any of these areas out of the unholt, um, you know, help that squeeze right there, okay? That was, that was really nice. This was a nice return as well. Um, actually, on this one, from uh, actually 115s on this one, was almost 24%. Uh, but um, I started scaling into that push. So, you know, I got a couple of good uh, a 20, 30% returns today on some names. Again, keeping that. And then uh, WHLR, big miss. But that's fine. You know, I, I actually went off and went to go eat some lunch. But, um, Definitely a big miss. This daily was nice, right? You know, um, where this was pulling back and actually setting up, I thought was really nice because, you know, we're still cranking uh, its first pop. This is day one, right? This was a key area. If this was going to get heavy and break down, that needed to break down. But I uh, can't catch them all, right? Uh, really interesting book to go over. Uh-oh, kids. I can start. They're, uh... They're going a little nuts. But, um, you know, there's a couple things over here, man. This this bid came over here and actually helped that halt. Um, the, the control on this book in particular was really nice. This was a phenomenal pullback, and I'm pretty sure j -Rut caught this one. But this right here, this is a perfect breakdown zone right here on the book. And this is a nice pullback into that zone, not getting heavy. This was the control on it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and review uh, this chart more today but I did miss this and that's okay but uh, it's it's nice to see things that I would have traded anyways in particular with this one but um, I caught some good returns can't complain Tesla <laughs> real quick before I get off I caught a nice Tesla short today okay phenomenal Tesla short uh, and particularly off this 235 liquidity zone up here okay um, not only that, you know, once we broke down previous areas that we swiped on the liquidity, it started to actually get heavy. So the follow through on this was really great. Again, right here, we started to continue down. Of course, incorporating uh, overall market, right? You know, we had SPY coming down, which was great during this run. And then Tesla daily to me was nice because it actually did a double top up here, right up here. So that was a key level for it to break. So with the market coming down and uh, looking for that particular level and trading off that liquidity magnet, uh, that was a really great fade. Um, really great return right there. But all right, guys. Much love. Peace out, Mikey.